YouTube, this is True Warlord here, and today I'm bringing you guys something a little bit different. Um, hopefully my audio is okay and there's not a lot of echo, and hopefully my camera looks okay because I'm using Photo Booth on my Mac. I don't have a um, not built-in camera. So, also I want to mention that I am kind of sick, so hopefully my, you know, nose and all that isn't sounding absolutely disgusting. And stuff behind me, that's my girlfriend's things, and I hope there's not any background noise, so on and so forth. So let's get into this video. First off, this is going to be my first review over something that I have purchased recently-ish. And I'm going to tell you guys whether or not you should buy it, what I think of it, and if it's really, really worth the purchase that I made for it. I'm going to tell you how it works and things of that nature, and I really hope you enjoy this and that it's informational for you. So let's start off, and I'm going to say that this is what we are reviewing. It is my scuff controller for the Xbox 360. Now, you're probably wondering right off the bat, what is this nonsense? Okay, well, this right here is from my gamer glove. And some of you guys are going to be like, what the fuck are you doing using a gamer glove? Well, this is my gamer glove. I'll cover these in another topic uh, video. But basically, they're black, and so my hand would sweat or something, and it would leave this black mark. I haven't tried to kick it off. It might be able to come off. I don't know. Um, this right here is a control freak. Uh, I'll put a Twitter, I mean, I'll put a link down in the description for you guys if you want to buy some control freaks. They are not a placebo effect. They really, really do work. They're cheap. They're like $10, $15, and they're amazing. And this has lasted me quite a while, and I have a couple different ones, and they're definitely worth it. Again, something else I will go over in another video, but I'm going to take that off for now. Anyway, so back to the scuff. I customized this. I don't remember what this was. I think it was just called a part of their Neon Color series. I did not get a uh, complex one. I, I just got a regular one like this. It's got two paddles on the back. Um, now, what this does is this controls your jump and your knife. And for Call of Duty players who at least know what they're doing for the most part, when you go to like drop shot, you hold down your uh, right thumbstick instead of using that to, I think it was knife before, and so that switches it over here to your B. Well, you don't want to use B for knife because it's such a long movement. So instead, you can use this right here. And when you use this right here, it also knifes. So you don't ever have to take your thumb off the joystick, and you can just knife, just like that. Move and knife, move and knife. And I just hit the table, and I really fucking hurt my elbow. Ugh, that was loud. Um, now, this joystick right here is obviously normal controls, and... This is your jump. This is like one of the things that it is most bought for, is the jumping for jump shots and things like that. I'm sure you can hear me clicking it. Then let's move on to this right here. Okay, so I'll try and get this close to the camera, but... Oh, jeez, I can't really tell. Anyways, see those little notches on the controller? Yeah, those right there can be adjusted using this little thing right here in my hand. It's like an Allen wrench or whatever they're called. And you just stick it in this little hole that's on the edge of the controller, twist it, and then you can move these down and it's less time to shoot. So you can shoot faster. Really useful. Um, I have a wired one personally because I want a faster response time. If you guys don't know, wireless controllers have a slower response time than non-wired controllers. So that's pretty nice. The Chrome buttons was my doings. It was my personal choice. I wanted that. And overall. So now let's get into the price of this. The controller itself, without the case, and might I add, I ordered a case for this controller um, from scuff.com that was an extra, I don't know, like $15, $20, something like that, for a wired Xbox 360 scuff. With my order, I still have the receipt online that shows that I ordered it, and I never got my case. Not once did I get my case. I messaged them about it. I sent them tweets, emails, never responded. I called them, nothing. So, I'm pretty pissed off about that. I'm still pissed off about that, that I paid overall about $200 for this controller. The controller itself, I think it was like $180, $175, maybe somewhere in that ballpark. Took a, lot, a little while for it to be made. Took about a month for it to get to my house. Maybe a little bit less than that. And so, let's get into whether or not it's worth it. Oh, actually, this right here is called Scuff Grip. It's a military-grade grip quality, so if you do have sweaty hands, you're not going to be slipping all over the controller. I really, really like it. I think it's helpful because I had problems with my hands sweating, and it just made it really uncomfortable to play. So anyways, was this worth the buy? Definitely. You know, $185, $75 for a controller is ridiculous to most average gamers, but if you play Call of Duty or any shooter a lot, Scuff controllers are the way to go. 
for sure. Um, there's other people out there who make controllers similar to this, but I personally like Scuff a lot. I mean, even if I'm partnered with a different controller company, which I'm not, I don't, I don't know if that classifies. I, I don't know, but um, even if I am partnered with a different controller company and sponsored by them and all this, it's still this controller is pristine. Nothing else has topped it, and if, if anything else did top it, the pros would be using it, which they're not. The majority of them, not all of them. So there's tons of different options. They have scuff for PS4 and Xbox One if you guys are interested. So head over to that website. I'll also put a link for that in the description. Now, do you guys think it's really worth the price for this controller? So I'm going to wrap this review up, and I'm going to leave it up to you guys now. And yeah, so Twitter and Facebook links will be down in the description. The things that I purchased, such as the Control Freak and the controller itself, will also be in the description. And deuces.